What's up guys? Welcome back to my video. I'm talking a little low right now because the baby's sleeping and it's the only time I had to film this intro and outro to this video, but I'm very excited because this has been so requested for so long and I know that cooking videos are not popular on my channel and I'm not a cook at all, but my dad is so good at making pasta sauce and for as long as I can remember on all my vlogs, when every time he's made it, so many of you were like, please share the recipe. So I'm very happy to be able to actually share this recipe with you. Two things before I get started. One, this is virtual because where I live currently, we're on lockdown, we're not allowed to see anyone that is not in this household. So I couldn't see him in person to film this video. And two, <laughs> I messed up because my whole plan was to screen record our like video chat and then use that audio But I didn't realize that screen recording didn't have any audio So I had to use the audio from my camera which was filmed on my like cooking So it's kind of hard to hear at times I tried to put subtitles at certain points and I am gonna have things up on the screen Like showing the ingredients and everything like that So you guys can get a sense of like what to do and what exact ingredients to get it's my dog keep in mind you do not have to get these exact ingredients. You can make it your own. You don't have to follow it exactly. And this does make a pretty big portion. So you can freeze the rest, which is what Dan and I do. And we use it for like lasagnas or pasta in the future. And it's just a super simple way to make tomato sauce. And it's so yummy and very sentimental to my family because my dad learned how to make this from his mom. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, we're here with my dad. Hi, I'm no, going, no. Yeah. I'm tying my uh, apron. Say hi, no, no. Hello. This is Arky's no, no. Ciao, tutti. So, what are we making today, Dad? We're making uh, tomato sauce. Very plain, very simple. The way I make it and uh, the way that you guys like it. Yes, it's so good. All my friends are obsessed with it. Okay, you guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now. My dad is on Zoom. He's got his pot. Like a pretty big, I mean, does it have to be cast iron? No. Oh, it does need to be. I like this one because it's got a, a big enough bottom. Yeah. And it's high enough that I can put quite a bit of volume in there. So this is the pot I'm using. It's pretty big. Put it on that medium low. Medium low. Keep in mind, yeah. I don't have a fire stove. I start off with oil. Okay, olive oil. First step, extra virgin olive oil. How much do you put in? I put about uh, half a cup, a little bit more, maybe a little bit more than half a cup. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Yeah, but don't forget, we're putting five cans of tomatoes, three cans of cherry tomatoes. So these are the ingredients that you guys will need. Different types of cans of tomatoes. So we have whole peeled tomatoes. San Marzano is my dad's favorite. So we have three of these. Then we have these two cans. Yeah, you don't need to use San Marzano, but it's my dad's favorite and he likes the flavor the best. And then you needed some cherry tomatoes in a yeah, can. Right. So I get uh, three cans of cherry tomatoes. Three cans of cherry tomatoes, yes. I like to vary this, the type. If you have always the same can of tomato, it's like a wine. You know, I like to blend three different types of grapes. Yes. It makes it more, it doesn't make it all one flavor. It blends it. Then I have the crushed tomatoes. Then you need some fresh basil and then you need some basil in the tube. This is like a basil seasoning. Obviously extra virgin olive oil, garlic. I take three cloves of garlic. I break each one in half. You can see when I put it in, it's starting to sizzle. Yep. So I, I lower it a little bit because it's, for me, it's like sizzling too quick. Okay. Okay guys, this video is going to be a little all over the place because I'm trying to film different like sections. What did you just do, Dad? I can't see. I put a lot of basil in. A lot of basil? Yeah, I put like uh, almost half the two, not as much. But... Okay, so on low with the basil. I put about two, two teaspoons of salt. You're going to add as you go along. Then I put pepper. I like pepper, so I put about a tablespoon and a half, two more. And then add two cans of tomato. All three cans I put in. Okay. And then I raise the temperature, put it to about medium, let it heat up, and soften the tomatoes. I'm, I'm squishing them down kind of because they're already soft from the can, but I'm kind of like pressing them down. You see, it makes like a nice. Uh, yeah, mine looks the same. Yeah. You get that nice oil, the nice reddish uh, brownish color. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to. You don't want to cook it too fast. This is a long process. Okay. So I'm waiting for it to bubble. You're gonna see, I put it a little bit stronger now because it wasn't bubbling. See how it's bubbling now, a little bit? Yeah. I'm about to do something sacrilegious to Italians. I take brown sugar cane, 
Can you see that? And I think I put about three to five, depending. So right now I'm putting three. Now I stir it in. Put about uh, five to six tablespoons. One, two. This my spoon is very big. Three. I use the Vietnamese soup. Four, five. Now if you taste it now, don't worry about your lips. You're gonna find it extremely sweet. Okay. Just because you're adding so much more tomatoes in the cans that it dissipates the, the sweetness. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you got that going, all right, so now that's my blend right there. But now you drop in the cans of tomatoes. Okay. How would you put five cans in wine? Does it take that five cans? That's four. This is the fifth. Now I'm stirring wine all the way down, pushing it down and around. Okay, I have all my tomatoes in. Okay. Push it down. Do I need to squish the tomatoes? No, no, just for a moment. Yours looks a lot more orange than mine is. That's probably just the camera, right? Maybe. Yours also looks sure. a lot more oily. Yeah, I like to put more oil. A lot a bit more. Yeah, now it looks pretty much the same. Then I turn the heat up, it goes like this is the simmer. You want a slow simmer. Now I'm going to taste it. Mine tastes very watery. Yeah, well, it's right at the beginning. Okay. That's okay that it's watery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, the water's all going to evaporate as you cook. It's going to get all the, uh, the juice out. Now, at this point, after about three to five minutes of warming everything up, I'm going to get tomato puree. Sorry, it's strained crushed tomatoes. You don't have to get this mark. You can get anyone. Okay. And I'll put a whole one in. Okay. Stir it up. Do you have a masher? Something like that? Yeah, I do. I press everything down. Like some people will put them in a, in a, in a blender before, you know, they cook everything. But I use this. You might have to do that more than once as it cooks. How's so yours taste? It's not, it's not bubbling, it's not simmering, so I raise the temperature. It has to be a simmer. Okay. Now at this point, Alex, you don't see oil at the top. Yeah. It's just tomato. Yeah. So now what I do, I'm going to get a little bit of, of, of enough oil in there that the top is in some oil. So what I do is I add some, and this this is, is by look. See how I add? Yeah. yeah. The oil stays on the top there. Okay, but I mix it in. I want to get a little bit of that same similar look across the top of it. But don't put too much, because if you put too much past the point, then it's going to be extremely oily. See how it's lying so this is a bit with oil? Yeah. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. There's other things I have to do. Right now, it's at a good, it's at a good point. Okay. Right now, we reach the point where it has to cook. And I like to cook it for about an hour and 45. An hour 45? About, yeah. You want it to get, get more concentrated by evaporating the water that's in it. Get all the flavors working together. Do you put a cover on top? No, because I want the steam to get out. Okay. The water to turn to steam, evaporate, and get out of the sauce. When it starts simmering, do you bring down the heat? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want it to boil. Like, see how mine is starting to look here, see? So you don't want it to go higher than that. Okay. That type of a bubble. So, so good. Now, like I said, you can add whatever you like it. This is a simple tomato sauce. I also used to do with some onion at the beginning, which I take it out. Some people put chopped carrots. Celery, I think. This is just, just tomato. Just the tomato sauce. See, I'm always stirring every five minutes or less. You do that for the whole hour and a half? Yeah, actually, I do. Wait for like 10 minutes, come back and give it a stir for 15 minutes. I don't want to take any chances with it burning at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. And then what's the fresh basil for? I'm going to add basil near the end. It oh. gives it also some sweetness and it takes away some of the acidity. Uh -huh. I add about half of that plant half of the way through and then I keep the other half for uh, when we actually eat the pasta and we cut it up the raw top. So mine's starting to bubble a little bit like this, Dad. Okay, that's good. Why do you like the San Marzano tomatoes versus regular? Because San Marzano's are sweeter. Okay, that's and they're, the reason. Uh, they're pulpier. I mean, in the sense of they have more meat and they're a nice color and they cook well. I put mine below medium. You see, you see the steam coming up? Yeah. Okay, that's the water evaporating. So the more that the more that you cook it, the more concentrated it will get by by uh, eradicating some water from it. Now the oil that I had put on put in ten minutes ago. Uh huh. You don't see that glistening anymore. No. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay. I don't wanna add all at the beginning and then end up with too much. So I add a little bit more. Mine's still very watery tasting. 
Yeah, it's still watery, that's why I need to cook it. Now I'm gonna get the basil. Okay, what do I do? I'm gonna take about half the leaf. See what I'm doing? See, I'm taking off the leaves? Uh-huh. On my hand. I put them on the side. Smells so good. I'll take like a clump of them like this. And I'll break them up with my hand. And put them in the sauce. I got this mostly from my mother, but I, I of course, I, you know, I improvised. I like a lot of basil. Me too. Wow, so when you make your sauce, Dad, you really make it. Like, you take a while. Can you see me? Yes, I can. Yeah, it takes, it takes a while to do it. But the most important ingredient here is TLC. Mm. So now it's boiling a bit too much. Can you see it boiling too much? Yeah, mine too a little bit. Lower it a little bit. It's basically the same now for the next hour, right? Next hour and a bit? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop recording because I'm not gonna film the hour and a half of us doing the same thing. Okay, so in an hour, call me back. One hour later. Okay guys, so kind of a fail, but I didn't realize that the volume on the, re on the computer wasn't gonna record when I screen recorded because I have never done that before and my dad doesn't have an iPhone so we just didn't do it on Zoom, we did it on Facebook Messenger. So there's no volume on my dad's end so I'm hoping that you can hear him a little bit through this mic when I was recording the sauce. I'm gonna try my absolute best in order to film this properly but oh my gosh, what a fail. Oh well, I'm gonna try to do Zoom for like the next portion of this and hopefully that works but sorry guys. Okay guys, so this is what my dad's sauce looks like. You see how it uh, lost some water and it, that's more concentrated now? Yeah, mine's more thick as well. So we need about another 15 to 20 minutes. And you taste it. Yeah. And you adjust it according how your taste is. Like if you find it still too acidic, put a little bit more sugar. I tasted mine with bread and it was so good. I'm in love. You see no no? What's Hi. you doing? Hi! Hi, Arky Jerky! Hello! Mm. He just woke up. The last thing, well, the second last thing. Remember before when we put extra oil in? Yeah. Now it's been absorbed, right? And you can see, like, there's no oil on the top. One, you see? Yeah. I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to put more to yeah. get a bit of a glisten of oil at the top. This is olive oil. I'll try that. Then when I stir it in, See how it just like glistens at the top? Uh-huh. So that's perfect for me. Now I'll taste it again. I'll rinse my spoon. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Do you want to add salt now? Go ahead. I don't. Yeah, I don't need Pepper. salt. Pepper. Okay, so now I'll cook it for another 15 minutes. But I'm going to add a little bit more basil. Fresh basil again? Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna do the same thing. Yeah, the rest of the basil you can use for when you make the sauce. I mean, make the pasta. Add it on top of your pasta. You know? Yeah. I did add some more basil like maybe 20 minutes ago. So I'm not gonna add that much right now. And uh, basically that's it. Put it down for another 10 minutes. Uh, you could put spaghetti, linguine, uh, farfalle. You can put pen, whatever you like, but uh, Normally I like spaghetti with it personally. I like you, can make an arabiata, no, you can make an arabiata, which you can add the penne and then put some sauce on the side, add red pepper flakes yeah. as much as you like for the spice, and then make an arabiata. And then would Chili you put flakes, parmesan you know? cheese? Yeah, I put parmesan cheese on my pasta, some basil, and uh, al dente, the pasta, and uh, then you can enjoy. Yay! So this is the pasta. Very yummy. This is the pasta that we're going to use tonight. Make some of that with some Parmesan cheese. We also have this kind, but I think I'm in the mood for penne. Okay, guys, I'm filming this on my phone, but this is the finished product with some Parmesan cheese and some fresh basil on top. If you had never told me that you made this, I would have thought your dad made it. I mean, I copied it. Literally what he yeah, said. Yeah, it doesn't matter though. It was still you stirring, you chopping, you adding, you smushing. 
It's really good. It's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, it's very all over the place and that's kind of like how we cook in my family is very much all over the place. We just like throw things together and hope it tastes good. So if you guys do recreate this or make it for yourselves, please send me photos. I would love to see. Let me know how it tastes and yeah, I'm very excited about it and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!